Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about five ways to stay motivated. Welcome back guys. If you don't already know, I am on a fitness quest. I gained about 30 pounds over the holidays and I'm trying to lose it all. So today I'm going to talk about five ways that I stay motivated to lose weight. Um, these things really apply to anything you want to be motivated for, any goals you want to achieve. Um, this process will work for pretty much all of them. So up first, set a goal. If you have a goal at the end, it's going to be much easier to work towards achieving it. So my goal for the weight loss is to get down to 190. Um, I'd like to do that in, I'm giving myself five months. Realistically, I want to do it in three, but that is my goal. I'm trying to work towards it every day. I have something in the future that I am working towards. So setting a goal pretty much just gives you the destination. You know where you want to be at the end. You know how long you have to get there. You realize what you got to do along the way to achieve that goal. Which brings me to number two on the list, make a plan. If you have a plan to achieve that goal, it's going to be a lot easier to get from point A to point B if you know where you know, you're going in between. So for me, my plan is to work out five days a week, eat healthy, at least five days a week, if not six, and then have one cheat day where I can eat whatever I want, drink a little bit. But since I have a goal set, I'm probably not even gonna take full advantage of a cheat day as I would if I did not have a goal set. So number three on the list, guys, find a group of people that want to achieve the same goals you have. So, I mean, for me, me and my fiance are doing this together, so we're holding each other accountable, we're working together, we're going to the gym every day, we're meal prepping together. I mean, it's a lot easier because we live in the same house. But, you know, if you have a group of friends that want to lose weight together, you know, set some goals together, work together, help each other out, you know, have like a meal prep Sunday where you all watch football and hang out with the boys and meal prep all day long, which is, for me, a fun time at least. But, you know, find a group that wants to achieve the same things you do because if you have friends that just want to go out and party all week and all weekend, it's going to be very hard to stick to your plan. So, if you can find people that have the same goals as you do, this goes for, you know, business or whatever other goals you want to achieve as well, find like-minded people to work with you. All right, guys, number four on the list. This may not work for everybody, but it certainly works for me have consequences. So a few years ago, my buddy and I, we wanted to lose 15 pounds, so we said, okay, we have till this date to lose 15 pounds. If we don't do it, we owe each other $1,000. Now, $1,000 is a lot of money, but if you achieve your goals, you don't have to pay it. So in the end, we all just wanted to get in shape and we wanted to have some consequences if we didn't do it. So if one of us didn't do it, we'd owe the other one $1,000. If we both did it, we both lose weight, we don't owe each other any money everything works out, which was the ultimate goal. We didn't actually want to pay each other $1,000. We just wanted to have some consequences if one of us gave up and the other one worked for their goal. So in the end, we actually both lost 15 pounds. We didn't have to pay anything, but we were definitely motivated to do so because nobody wants to pay each other $1,000. And last but not least, guys, number five on the list, I think this is probably the biggest motivation killer of all time, and it's Focus on the future, guys. If you don't focus on the future and you focus on what's going on right now, like what food you want to eat right now, what you're missing out on, how you can't party with your friends, um, it's going to kill your motivation. You're going to want to give up. But if you realize you're working towards a bigger goal, you see results and you constantly see results, you're just going to feed off that and it's going to be very, very easy to stay motivated and stay wanting to work and wanting to eat right and do the things you need to do in the fitness sense of things. Don't focus on how you're struggling right now because it's honestly going to be very depressing, but focus on the future, focus on the end goal. Um, I'm actually going to Italy in a few months, so I want to look good for Italy. So that is my future goal. I'm working towards, you know, being able to be on the beach in Italy and not look like I haven't worked out in six months. So that is my ultimate goal. I have a reward at the end. I guess that should be number six. Reward yourself once you achieve your goals because you deserved it. You achieved your goals, you deserve to be rewarded. It makes a lot of sense. Um, so I guess that was six tips to stay motivated. Now this works for fitness, business, um, anything you want to really achieve, you can apply all these things and it works for pretty much anything. So once again, thanks for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe, like us on Instagram, at Jens Lounge, right here, at Jens Lounge. So follow us right now, leave us a comment, say hi, you're from YouTube, we miss you. Um, thanks for watching guys, we really appreciate it.
Cheers.